According to Ireland, cow's milk is now considered vegan. I think I might have had a little bit too much to drink. Then maybe again. What the Irish f Anyways, also in today's episode, a new plant-based potato milk. The city of Berkeley goes completely vegan, US courts smack down the pork industry, and a metric ton more in this jam-packed episode. I'm Brock Lee, welcome to the World Vegan News. Lube up, cause we're going in. In our first story, the Irish dairy industry begins a campaign claiming that cow's milk now counts as being plant-based. No, 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 no. They've created billboards and digital posters that show a girl drinking milk with the words, looking for a completely natural plant-based milk? Irish cows are fed outdoors on a diet of fresh green grass. Wait, is, is this for real? So their claim is that because cows eat grass and then the milk they create is created from plants, therefore it's vegan. I don't need to point out to you guys why this makes no sense, but man, it is absolutely mind-blowing. The mental gymnastics the dairy industry will go through just to try and make some sense. The crazy thing is that some people out there will now go and buy cow's milk thinking that they're choosing the healthier, eco-friendly option. And this is the same dairy industry constantly crying about vegan companies using phrases like yogurt alternative or using milky swirls on packaging. Right off. Oh. Next up, it seems like every week Nestle expands its evil clutches deeper into the vegan world. I am the Senate. This week is no exception. Nestle is launching vegan meals into their meal prep delivery service company called Freshly. They'll be offering a whole new lineup of meals, such as mac and cheese, a falafel bowl, creamy buffalo cauliflower, and a bunch more, starting at a price of $8.49 per meal. They smell money in the industry, and while you might not buy from Nestle directly, those Sith Lords will get you to give them your money with new companies they create one way or another. Do it. In our next story, vegans may have taken things one step too far. Let me know what you guys think. Swedish brand Doug has created a new vegan milk that's hitting stores in Europe, and it's made from potatoes. Yes, that's right. Level 99 Vegan Paladin Warriors have now created potato milk. All right, thumbs up. Ready, guys, Let's or... do this. Leroy Dragons! CEO Thomas Olander said, Our choice to use potatoes as a base means that we have a super sustainable drink. Potatoes don't need much to grow at all, especially compared to dairy products. Can't really argue with that. Unfortunately, it's not in the USA yet, but as soon as it is, you know I'm team potatoes. Yeah! I feel like of all things, vegan mac and cheese is one of the most important things in the vegan world. This week, wholesale retailer Costco is expanding a take and bake vegan mac and cheese to nearly 100 locations in the southeastern region of the country. Chef Ayinde Howell's original mac and yeast will be available in 32 ounce trays in the prepared food section of stores in Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Louisiana, Mississippi, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, and Puerto Rico. Hold up, wait. They're not bringing this to California? No, God, please, no, no, no! No! Next up, you ever feel like the meat industry is the villain in this movie that we call the world? Well, they're pissed because the United States Court of Appeals just slapped down a proposal from the pork industry that would allow them to continue housing pregnant pigs in insanely small cages. If you're not aware, pigs are kept in small cages that are about the size of their body and California law is requiring changes to allow more space for them, as well as changes for chickens and cows. While it's not perfect yet, it is a good sign that the US courts are denying the proposals that the meat industry is coming up with and basically telling them that it's complete gibberish. You just drop in and just smack the lip, whoop, drop down, snap, ah, and then after that, you just drop in, just ride the barrel and get pitted, so pitted. As always, for those of you beautiful junk food vegans, you'll be excited to hear that this month, 
ice cream chain Baskin Robbins is adding another vegan option to its 2,500 shops nationwide. Yes, the chain's new flavor will be a non-dairy salted fudge bar flavor that's made with a creamy salted dark chocolate oat milk base that is swirled with smooth fudge ribbons and dotted with fudge pieces. Yeah! Yeah! This week, the massive footwear brand Crocs has announced that they're going vegan. It's lit. Haha, <laughs> it's lit. <laughs> they said that by the end of this year, every pair of Crocs they produce will be completely vegan, so you can rock that sexy Croc style without any limitations. What are those? They are my Crocs. Food and beverage company Dole is one of the biggest fruit producers in the entire world, and they've just partnered with Ananas Anam, a company that creates vegan pineapple leather called Pinatex. They've done this to put the wasted pineapple leaves from their pineapple plants to good use, and it's part of Dole's goal to have no fruit loss by 2025 in an effort to reduce its food waste. Now, since so many of you enjoy it every week, here's another short segment of Brock Lee's Favorite Animals. In our final story this week, the City Council of Berkeley has passed a resolution to slash the amount of animal products the city purchases by 50% by 2024. Even more shockingly, the resolution adopts a long-term goal of phasing out all purchases of animal products and replacing them with plant-based foods. Where's that bastard Jimmy Dean? I feel like these kind of movements are a death blow to the meat industry. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah. Great thanks as always to my vegan news friends, Plant Based News, Live Kindly, and Veg News, and genuinely, I'm asking that if you enjoy these episodes, please support with a few bucks by getting your vegan supplements from Vivo Life using code BRIAN10 and the link in the description. These episodes do take quite a bit of time to produce, and you keep this channel running. You're all amazing. Thanks for coming back. Watch previous episodes by clicking the playlist above, and I'll see you all in the very next episode.